The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sync. Hey everybody, I'm Kahi. I'm Bar. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. And welcome to TTV Talks. Gotta be honest there. I actually did forget the name order, so I was like, I am I supposed <laughs> yeah. to go yet? <laughs> So hey, see, like, uh, you, you always get on my case when I ask, like I double check right before we do a TTV Talks intro, because he's well, like, see, LJ, lately it's we've just been kinda, a normal intro. Well, it, 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 that's because before it was routine. TTV Talks is always like the routine thing. We did it basically the same time every Thursday, but now we've been switching up a lot. It's been kind of abrupt going into it, so I haven't really uh, yeah, yeah, been no, in that, that TTV that, Talks that, mindset. That's true. That is true. That's fair. That's not but, fair. Yeah. What do you mean it's not fair? It's absolutely you fair. Get the, you get the break and none of us do? Well, well I yeah, mean, because I'm the boss no, and you're screw- my employee. Yeah. Oh, he kind of oh, pays us, so that? we have to cut him some slack. So well, he I mean, cuts us some slack. Some cash yeah. slack. Cash well, slack. Well, he, he pays them. We all pay ourselves. Yeah, well, no. YouTube pays us. Do uh, we give them As slack? far as I'm aware, I'm the one sending you the money, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from the bank account taken out in all our names. Uh, uh, but I, the bank card him. is in my name. Do not incite him. All right, all right, all right. Actually, technically, the only the only other name on the bank account is yours, Kai. Oh, you're right. Ah, what the fudge. I guess I pay you guys. <laughs> there you go. No, you have never sent us any amount of dollar signs, ever. Well, that's not true. There is that bit that Kahi sent back to the company after taking right. a loan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, we're a company. That's weird. We are a company. That was cool, huh? Eh. That, was a, that, that, was, that was a thing that happened. That was a thing that happened. That happened a while ago, though. Ah, then yeah. you weren't a part of that. How you suck. Uh, <laughs> apparently, I didn't miss oh, out I on much. Going below the belt. You didn't. Right. <laughs> you missed out on a bunch of paperwork and annoying crap. <laughs> here was the. Here was what happened when we became a company. We were like, okay, let's do this. Um, <coughs> and then we had to get tax agreements, and like we had to get like uh, and pay LLC. for a stupid lawyer. And we had to pay for a lawyer. And Stu- I had have to you send, figured that out yet? We Kai, had to have find, you fixed that. You know, it's hard. You can't sign stuff on your phone. Apparently, you have to like sign it and then rescan it back. That is way more difficult than it should be. I didn't realize that people still used fax machines anymore. I didn't either. Wait. I wait, thought what? that fax really? machines were something Hang that, on. like... I think we need to explain what a fax machine is. Okay, so, there used to be something like a telephone, <laughs> except it was also... <laughs> it, the, uh, I'm just serious, it used to it be. It was a I dinosaur machine. It was giant. <laughs> back back I mean. in the age of gramophones and the large, giant cell phones that so you see So when the Star dinosaurs Trek, walked the Earth... So basically, somewhere in between when the dinosaurs were alive and now, there used to be this thing called a fax machine, which is like a phone, but instead of like sending your voice, it sended documents. That's the best way I can describe Ugh, it. Documents. Ugh. Oh, documents. Paper? Is that, is that a, a type of gear? metal gear? <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> we're not letting that become a thing. I mean, I've had enough to hear a Solek. We're not letting Kai, Metal Gear be the Kai, new thing. Metal Gear is the thing for like ever now. Yeah, that's yeah. already a thing. In fact, no, I'm, we're being honest. It can be a thing. I don't mind it being a thing. I just don't want our our comments to be like, "Oh, two TV talks, you know, episode forty one. Is that some kind of Metal Gear?" No, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm th- let, let, I'm let's be hear honest. Fun original stuff. That that's already a thing. Like out in the community, our, our Spartan company on Halo Waypoint, the slogan is, "Is that a type of Metal Gear?" Well, I mean, I don't mind that as long as they don't overuse it. That's what I'm getting at. I'm, I'm trying to rag okay. on Solak here. Basically. Yeah, I like the Solak stuff. Man, I, it's starting to slowly leak on over to the message boards. <laughs> leak? Ever is it? So slightly. Slowly, so slightly. Really? slowly leak into the message boards? I feel like it's been there for quite a while. No, no. The message boards has actually been one of the cleaner places. The I message mean, boards? To, clean? Compared, <laughs> compared okay, sorry. Yeah, after comments? the way that VAR treats sure. it, I don't think so. Yeah, I know, right? VAR treats it like a puppy. I do? Yeah. <laughs> you feed it. <clears throat> you, you feed it occasionally, and when you're angry, occasionally. you pick it. <laughs> you 
<laughs> you feed your puppy occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> Once a week, maybe, you'll remember yeah. to feed the poor dog. If it's alive, you give it, like, some kibble. Some kibble. kibble. Feed the message boards kibble. <laughs> Screw the message boards. The message boards don't even deserve kibble. <laughs> wow. Well, on that note, you can go get some kibble at boy.ttvpodcast.com if you feel so inclined. This, yeah, this there's is... a lot of cool discussion going on there. There's one guy that started posting this artwork. Okay, oh that was pretty cool. It's that was pretty incredible. cool. Purple Dragon, um, I believe, was his or her name. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, really, really great, great stuff. Um, he or she, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know either. So we're gonna um, just, yeah. did uh did some art of um so far L J, Meso and Viper and they're great, really great artwork, really cool. I haven't style. seen Viper. Let me go see Viper. Oh yep. yeah, Viper's really good. Oh yeah, Viper was just posted today. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, fact, actually, uh, not that long ago, probably just a couple minutes nope, ago. Shut up, L J. Wait, it was yesterday. Let me see. It was eighteen hours ago. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, wow. You'd, He's been doing these fast, then, man. He, I, yeah. I mean, listen. If he offered them to be printed, I would definitely get a print of mine. I would totally get a guys's. print of mine. That these are easily poster worthy. Yeah, oh, yeah they're, 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 they're these, these very are very like, good. If I we had a our own them. physical studio and we had like a wall, these would be like you know paintings that were hung up on that wall. Easily, absolutely, yeah, yeah. My these thing about the paintings is like. just like that. The color is just really, really, really oh, good. Oh man, the color. The colors, I want to know what brush fantastic. he's he's using for these the, these paintings because like the, the 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 brush just looks really nice and is really really good with the colors and just the, it very very vibrant paintings. Right, you know, and they they each have their own like. Obviously, they're all based off Bionicle, but they have this added style to them that like brings out the thing in the character, mm-hmm. like Meso's teeth, especially. I'm, yeah, they're fantastic. Meso's, Meso's very creepy. Meso's teeth, and then Viper's like visor. The standard Makiki visor. does technically have a visor design, but it's never been translated like that. But it, it fits Viper's character so well. It Look does. at that! I could totally see that as her being her thing, like. Her eyes just say, what? Like, <laughs> say what? That. what? What? But Kahi, it doesn't fit Viper with that well. I mean, this 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 drawing's actually good and not dumb. Oh. oh. You know, it's kind of funny that Viper isn't here while we're talking about this, because she's an artist, and then Var, you and Ven are really heavily into artwork. And then Kahi, you're kind of into art. We're heavily into I draw. artwork. Once or twice. A little yeah. bit, but yeah, Ven and Var are definitely the uh, star players when it comes to art. I'm actually drawing right now. Oh wow, what are you drawing? Instead of focusing on the episode, what do we pay you for, man? <laughs> wait, wait, what? I mean, it's not like drawing really distracts you that much. From uh, Var, art, really. anything, it's just it something to keep completely. my hands busy. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. One thing that's that's annoyed <laughs> me about this artwork, though, is it's a slight little pet peeve, but LJ and the Vipers are... All right, they've got the same dimensions. Mm-hmm. The Meso one is a different dimension. <laughs> and it's just... Um, yeah. It's like it's thinner. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. But that's just a thing. That's, that's, that's another thing I really first. like about this is that he added, like, the little thumbnails and, like, zoom in on right. certain aspects of that. Uh, that. That was a really good idea because you get to see uh, a better look at the detail and the brush strokes that he actually put in oh, the, the painting. the texture on that mask yeah, and, the and on the armor. That's Fantastic. what I'm saying. I want to know what brush he's using because, like, the textures are really, really good. It's a very, uh, very painterly, very, uh, almost like a, like a, the kind of artwork you would see in, like, a kid's book sort of thing. Like a, right. Like, uh, who's that one guy who used to do, like, those, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It was like he had a crayon or, like, a, like a colored pencil and he would, like, scribble really far. I'll find the guy I'm talking about. He does a lot of famous kids' books. And he does yeah, a lot I of mean, detail. Your description could literally be anything. I know, I know. <laughs> Eric I'm sorry. Carl? I, I'll, I'll That's find the only name that comes to mind. Who? Eric Carl. Eric Carl. 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 Very hungry. Carl. Oh, th- that guy? Uh, not really. <laughs> That's what, what the only find? thing that comes to mind. I don't know many other, like... Uh, what we, what we find I mean, I haven't read a children's book in a very long time, so... Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know them off the top of my head. There was, um... A thing. There's an artist, Bob Ross, and <laughs> Twitch. Twi- oh yeah, <laughs> Twitch that very recently held happened. like a huge stream showing all of his his videos or whatnot. Like, I'll be honest, I've never seen anything from Bob Ross except for mm. the pictures. Oh, oh wow, really? Eric Carl, he did the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I remember that one. Yeah. Huh. 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 
Huh. Huh. Huh. Huh. Ah, no, not this again. Huh. 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 The Bob Ross thing was interesting because I didn't think that Twitch would really like latch onto it the way they did. Yeah, Honestly, no, I, mean, that, I didn't think about it before, but like th- that's a really cool. Like I would love to get like or watch someone just you know do artwork live. It's really cool. Well, I know that uh, guest of ours who was recently here, Lady Kopaka, uh, usually does live. Yeah, she does streams. Um, yeah, yeah. And some people do do that, but there's you know the thing is that there's not a platform for it. So for any like budding entrepreneurs out there who want to make the next big social media maybe you should consider doing something like that gosh bob bob ross's face it just stares into the pits of my soul <laughs> he, he does some crazy stuff too where he will just be like he'll just take a brush and he'll like do it like you know flick it at an angle and flick it at another angle and like do one level line and you're like oh that's a mountain that's just a mountain now okay cool Yep. Oh, he'd do like a whole range just by going. That's like, the thing that I haven't quite figured out. Like throughout the majority of my career as an quote unquote artist, I I I have a habit, and it's an issue where like I like to focus on like a certain area, and I will spend too much time there. But really, as like a painter, you're supposed to like really like um look at the entire canvas and just work all over, and don't spend mm, like you. I can you're not supposed to, to that. spend. Yeah, you're not supposed to spend a lot of time in certain areas. You have to do like the painting overall in layers. So that way when you've like spent like hours and hours and hours on a on a piece instead of having just like a corner that's really really hyper detailed and really good and finished and but the rest of it isn't, you now have a majority of the canvas filled with something that might not necessarily be finished but there's something there and usually people buying art who aren't artists can't can't tell the difference. <laughs> so just art art tips that I haven't quite mastered myself, but interesting. Art is a funny thing. <clears throat> I used to be in an art class at one point. <laughs> Would you get kicked out? Wow, that was like the most <laughs> insulting thing. You could ever <laughs> <say>. <laughs> I used to be in an art class once. <laughs> oh, yeah. go! What did you do? Like paint with like watercolor? Oh, we uh, used to paint using our fingers. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, we did not. No, occasionally watercolor, oh, but boring. more often acrylic paint. Not to diss watercolor, because there are some great watercolor painters. But oh, there are. But there no, are. We, watercolor we is definitely did. one of those entry level art materials that like elementary school kids usually play around with a lot. You know, when I was a kid, <laughs> I was like good enough at art that my mom wanted to put me in art classes, and I ended. Like, but my huge problem with art classes was that they. They wanted me to draw from like real life all the time, and I at the age I was at, I just wanted to draw cartoons. That's all I wanted to draw. Like I didn't have. They're like, all right, draw this plant. You know, the the bowl of a fruit. And I'm like, what bowl of fruit? I ain't come on, draw a bowl of fruit. Who wants to? And I like I would draw like you know animals with machine guns and yeah. UFOs see, the issue with that is that like you're not really thing. meant to look at. It, obviously, yeah, you're sitting there drawing a bowl of fruit. But the idea is what you're actually like implementing while drawing said bowl of fruit, yeah, right? Like it's drawing it in your own style, or making right, right. right. that yeah. bowl of fruit your cartoon. Characters. You learn shadows, you learn color, you learn texture, you you learn all of that stuff by drawing still life images, so that when you do want to draw those cartoons, you can apply the knowledge that you learn from that to it. For example, a lot of issue that a lot of like younger artists have is that they want to draw anime or whatever. They draw like Dragon Ball Z characters or right. some crap. Fair um. Enough. But usually they start out with just those cartoons. The issue with that is you can easily tell when someone's drawing cartoons, but they don't really know what they're drawing. Because <laughs> the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to take anatomy classes. You're supposed to know how to draw like anatomically correct figures. Right. So that when you draw those in a cartoon style, you know exactly what to exaggerate, what and to what? distort, and what to um Yeah, instead of just caricature the style. Right. You have to know because like what it, actually makes that style. Yeah, if you don't know where muscles are meant to actually go, like where how an arm is meant to be shaped, it's going to be hard for you to properly caricaturize it without it looking really bad. Right. Now, obviously, there are some people that are able to like whip up a cartoon without actually taking anatomy classes, but still, that knowledge helps you when it comes to things that you actually do want to draw. Oh, I, I definitely agree. Like going, like looking back, I totally wish I'd stuck with it. And, you know, done actually done something with it. But I was, I was a kid and I was bored easily, and I was like, I, I don't, I want to do. Kahi, know. technically, you still are in art in a sense, not not like traditional, 
uh, canvas paint artwork, but like you do design, don't you? I, I, yeah, I do graphic design. Graphic design is part of my job. Uh, I do, I oh, work for a apartment cool. complex and I handle uh, graphic design and media and like all the social media stuff for, oh, for I hate graphic design. And I've done a lot of stuff with graphic design. I mean, just here in the company, I know you, uh, me and you, Var, we've yeah, handled... Yeah, basically all, every, every graphic almost, design yeah, almost aspect everything is me and that's, mm-hmm. Almost everything in our, our, in our company is made by either the two of us. I, yeah. Heck, our logo. Yep. No, 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 li- yeah, literally everything, like from the fonts down to like the, the colors we choose. Well, the fonts were made by us, well, okay, but yeah, we chose but the fonts. We chose the fonts yeah. specifically because of their appearance. But right. like... You know, like all like our thumbnail images and all that stuff, usually all by us. Actually, yep. no, not usually. It is all by us. <laughs> yeah, it is. We don't we don't like do like templates or anything. Yeah. We take it from I someone else. I think Vin, else. you oh. you've helped with a couple thumbnails. Yep. But I mean, everybody yeah, kind of knows part, here. You guys, we, we've done uh, the reason why we know how to do all this stuff is mostly because all of us have some background in comic making as a hobby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, BD Power too. really helped out in that aspect. Like having an online community that like I went to and like you, you know wanted to make art to share with people really really right. helped. Having someone receptive and that would always yeah, comment on what yeah, I did. Exactly. Really helped having a, lot. a bit of criticism yeah. as to and how you make your comics and people look. to bounce things off of. Every, right. Everyone here is a comic maker. We all did comics. I just yep. Wow. Yeah, this is we true. did. We realize that. And, you know, actually, I remember that was my first interaction with all of you is on the comics forum. Not, and I think all of you guys met on BZPC or became really good friends uh, with that. Technically that chat. speaking, yeah, you see, it's kind of funny, but before we all met, we all had some level of interaction. For instance, Kahi, you joined BZ Power, and I was right. already on BZ Power. I, right. I think aside from Ven, I predate the most of you guys. Yes, um, I, but, I believe you do. But you joined BZ mm, when Power. When did you join? Oh, I joined in S- September 1st, 2005. Okay, yeah, you do predate me. I joined in 2006. I think Venom's the only one that joined before I did with a, a, s- some other I, I joined in 03. <clears throat> yeah. So, Kahi joins the comic form, and he starts making comics, and somehow I got it in my head, it would be fun to challenge him to a comic duel. And uh. basically, most comics, most comics we can make in 12 hours, and that's how I first met him. Well, Bar- it's funny because, you know, it, it, that came through a mutual friend of ours, Wait, uh, did it? Yeah, you don't, you don't remember this? It wasn't like a conversation between me and you. Uh, back then, it's a mutual enemy now. Oh, wait. <laughs> mutual who, friend back then. Oh, who, 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 it was VTP. VTP oh, was right. the guy. You were friends of VTP, guy? Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, I, I was like, I guess I wasn't like best friends or anything, but I knew him on the <laughs> forum and we, weird, we had a lot man. of conversations. Oh, yeah. Weird. And, uh, yeah, so what you happened posers. is that he was like, hey, I, I think I want to set this up. And I was like, all right, sure. Dude called everybody a poser. What's that? You, know, LJ, you like I know. Lincoln Park? You're a poser. <laughs> I know that I've known, I had known of you prior, and I think like you had known of me prior, too, because of the yes. whole, like, uh, Matanui Online, or not Matanui Online, I don't know what I'm saying. The Matanui um, Titan set that I got. Uh, yes, I see. I knew about you from that. But I also knew about you because on BZ Power, in another sub form, the Sprite and Kits form, I used to work in this little like topic where we'd replicate different Sprite uh, styles the and forgery. make different things in those styles that weren't already made, like Sprite masks, weapons, yeah. poses, yeah. so on and so forth. And I'd been several times given the Vortex kit, which was yours, and so mm-hmm. I'd replicate something in that style and gave it out to someone. It's that, funny because I made the Vortex fit. kit, and I never realized that people actually used it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. A lot of people like, did. That's how, I, that's how I um not got to know you, but that's how I learned of you. Yeah. Because the Vortex In fact, I kit. actually remember the very first time I interacted with you, LJ, and I remember the first time I interacted with you, Vin, as in like an actual just like back and forth conversation. Mm-hmm. LJ, for you, the first time I ever actually met you and talked to you, I say talked to you in like the loosest sense because I didn't really talk to you. Right, but right. you actually had another chat, a Zat chat, that was for BZ Power Comic Maker specifically. Oh. <laughs> yes, I remember, that. I remember this. Yep. Yeah, and I was linked to that from the BZPC, and when I hopped on that, I remember like you were scolding people for inviting me, <laughs> and you were like, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> Are you serious? Because yeah. I, I knew you made comics, I don't know why I would say that. Well, okay, well, I mean, like you didn't realize who it was, because uh, they were just like, oh, that's the guy that made the Vortex skin, you were like, oh, okay, cool. Okay, yeah. Which is right. ironically basically how I met Vin, too, because I was on the BCPC, 
And then was like, who is this? And I'm like, oh, I made the Vortex kit. And then was like, really, dude? And then he modded me. <laughs> He's He's mod man, your trust. One your trust of us. You know, dude, you didn't, man, you didn't even mod me when the new busy PC came on. <laughs> After we'd known each other for like PC. three years, you're like, yeah, but. It's, al- it's hilarious to think how easy it was to get power back in those days. <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> easy. Okay, do you know yeah, why, do you know why I'm a member here? Back then, I didn't have to podcast? be so cautious. Dude, what, I'm a member of this podcast because nobody removed me from the chat after my interview. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. That's why I'm we here. We all just started chatting to you, and, and, and Var was like, hey, you want to join? You're like, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. I mean, I think we're, we're all like co own this company because I nobody hit like right clicked and removed me. Everybody's too lazy <laughs> to remove me. And Dude. I was like, hey, well, I guess you're here, so just be on this episode. Yeah, man, and like, it, it's, it. it's hilarious thinking about how easy it is it was oh, to get on so TTV, easy. dude. Yeah. People if, now if have just, to do, like, if, the thing where they, they send audition tapes, and they send, like, <laughs> they go to an interview well, and tell us their personality type. was like, hey, join our podcast, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember joining. Uh, r- real quick, Ven, the way I met you is that you made comics, and I liked your comics a whole lot. Mm-hmm. And I, your comics were, like, one of the first few I permanent guest starred in. Because you, like, chucked me in there and I fought mm. Tom Cruise or something. Oh, and yeah. Then you, I remember you that. You created the PCPC <laughs> and you already knew me from your comics. So you're like, hey, join the chat. And that's how I met you. Hey, but, join but, yeah, the mod Joining shit this too. podcast, <laughs> if you did it just a few years earlier, it was so easy. So easy. It, yeah, it's hilarious. Like, there's a lot of people that want to join TTV now. So it, it's funny, like, what that knowledge would be like with hindsight. Like, all those people... Any one of you could have joined TTV. It was that easy. <laughs> All you had to do was just be on, like, on the internet, really. Right. Yeah. And you but, I mean, it's a right place, right time sort of Yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah. You, just, you exactly. had to be there. I specifically yeah. remember when the podcast was first starting out, and it was still called IBZP at the time. We had made our first episode, and uh, it was, like, me and Star Paru and Sideswipe and Makuta Vahi. Oh, and gosh. this is this is so hilarious because I remember trying to advertise IBZP on the BZPC, the chat room that Vin ran, and like I literally I I like just spam linked the first episode. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and like everyone was so annoyed at me, they just they just kept ignoring me. And then Makuta <laughs> he was like, "Guys, listen up! Everybody, shut the f up and listen to Var." <laughs> And then Vin banned him. <laughs> <laughs> and then amazing. from that okay. day on, <laughs> it is so funny. From that day on, Makuta Vahi was the scourge of the internet. <laughs> no, there was like a big him. string of time where he was trying to sneak back into the BZBC <laughs> and just try. It, it was it was so funny. He became like an outlaw. And the funniest part is, like, he is no longer a part of the podcast, and now Vin is. <laughs> and there have been several times where Makuta Vahi tried to, like, hit me up on Skype and was like, yo, remember our old times together? And I just never responded. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if stuck Makuta up for you Vahi once. is Vin, and, like, this is his successful attempt to get back into the podcast? Yeah, Makuta Vahi had a weird, weirdly uh, deep voice for, like, a 12-year-old. I don't trust kids that have deep voices. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't trust people that have deep deep like super deep voices. Yo man. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's going Welcome on? Welcome to the TTV <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I know. BZ Power was a fun place back in the day. It you was. Know, it was so Speaking enjoyable. of IBZP, I'm going to go back and like wrap this around because that's how I'm first well not really met but that's our first interaction bar and you probably don't remember this. Our first interaction is oh, on the I topic IBZP comics. Oh no, I don't remember this. You don't remember this? Wait, wait, what are you thinking of? I was thinking of the interview we brought you on for that I literally paid no attention to and just played Left 4 Dead 2 like the oh, entire time. I remember time. that too, yeah. That. I remember okay, no. that. Right. That was how unprofessional we were. I was literally <laughs> playing Left 4 Dead 2 in the interview with you and you could hear the game in the audience. <laughs> you can you can go back and listen to the episode right now. You'll hear it. Um I didn't even bother to turn it down. <laughs> IBZP was when um like when those comics came out and they were hand drawn and I was like, This is really cool. And uh that's so I we, our first interaction is on that topic where I'm like talking about how cool your things are, uh your comics are. And you're like, oh, thanks, man. Um, you know. Yeah. And then nah. just generic response. Uh, here's – let me see if I can – oh, I guess I don't have it anymore. Yeah, I doubt you're going to be able to find a majority of the things on the 
Beezy yeah, power. I was looking. To, I was trying to see my comic topic. I used to have a huge list of. Um, I probably still have it somewhere. I used to have a huge list of all the like the comments people left in my topic from the archive, and one of them was from you, LJ, and the other one was from another one was from Ben, and they were from like there, it was a huge collection of all these really big names in uh, comic making about. You know, all the it was stuff really dis- disheartening when uh the, we lost the archive. It's like it really was because that was literally like where we uploaded and posted all of our hard work, where all of our audience interaction was, and where all the comments that were left for us was. Yeah, like it would be the equivalent of just YouTube randomly just getting wiped with mm-hmm. no warning, and, right? Like, all exactly. our videos completely deleted. Yeah, it's kind of interesting though because I think the majority of this group, this podcast, did have some sort of interaction on the message. Uh, sorry, on, on BZ Power in the comics form. Even Takuma, I had talked to Takuma prior. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I read Takuma's comics. I didn't even realize that was Takuma. Yeah, I read his comics. I knew it was his. But my interaction with him was him giving me a warning in the blogs for something that I don't even remember. I remember uh, Takuma Nuba was a big, was a friend of, fr- oh, he was a friend of a friend. That was how I knew him. And uh, he wanted to be with the ICC for a bit. And I was like, cool, you know, I know him. Sure, he can, he can join. And that was our interaction for the longest time. That's about how we knew each other, was uh, through mutual friends. Huh. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, okay, that interview... That interview. Let's let's talk about that for a bit because I feel like that's the that's the point that we're, we all met each other. That, that's like the thing where we all like were. I mean, that's where you met us. Time. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, like this group together. That's where it, this people in this podcast right now. That's when we're all together is for the first time talking mm-hmm. to each other. I, was and, Venom there? No, I don't think no, Venom. I don't see, the no, thing I wasn't. Is, oh, you're the right. Thing with huh. you, Vin, I don't really remember when you became a regular on the show because I remember for the longest time you were like friends with us while we were doing TTV, but you weren't like an actual like yeah. Cast yeah member. No, I, I wasn't. remember I actually you, your, your only like, involvement like, with us was for Winter no, Solstice wait. and TTV. Uh, yeah, TV exactly. Gym. I used to talk to you guys a lot on the chat, and then you yeah. guys were like, "Man, Red versus Blue is so cool. Let's do a Machinima." <laughs> and then I was like, man, you guys are going to do a Machinima? I'm down. <laughs> and we, we were already, like, playing with Custom Edition. And so there were four of us. Me, Var, LJ, Meso. We got together, did uh, did our own dumb Machinima that no one will ever see because it's so horrible that... No, no. It don't. was one of the first videos we ever uploaded to our channel. Yeah. In yeah. Fact, uh, it's, it's still not- there. It's not public right now, but what the first and it never video will. on this channel is a Halo-related Machinima video. Yep, and it's still up on the channel. We just made it private, and it will never be public. <laughs> yeah, it will never be nope, public. For all you early subscribers, because I know, I know there are a few of you out there. There are, st- which uh, amazes me that there are still people that subscribe to us, like in the first hundred subscribers that are still active TV right. fans. Like you guys are crazy, but crazy y'all. you were the lucky few that were able to see those awful awful dreadful videos yeah because <laughs> man but no ever since then uh i i like i i kept talking to you guys on skype because i was like well, i feel I mean, like you recorded some of our episodes back in the day when we need some either you hosted the call we recorded like you were there you just didn't talk i th- i feel like i, I remember that being hosted the call but i didn't really join in until at some point i was like hey Maybe I should like actually hop on the podcast sometime. You guys can have me yeah. as a guest, and I yeah, did. You, d- you did have some guest appearances. Like you were on right. the podcast, you just weren't like a regular. Yeah, I specifically I... remember being on the podcast for the first time, and then that episode got scrapped because it was so horrible. Yeah, I mean, it was the same with Envy too. Like Envy was with us because of TDVTHM and Winter Solstice or Halo Machinima. Um, but he would you know hop in the podcast every now and then, but he wasn't actually a regular either. At that point, it's hard to really tell who were the regular hosts at given times because, like, we we've gone through a lot of them. Yeah, yeah I, I, I become a regular I don't think, way later. I think until like after Mir and Tom and uh, Sumi, uh, Sumiki. Yeah, Sumiki. Yeah. After uh, they were gone, that's when Ben became a, a regular I f- member. I forgot he was. And the I was host. there before that. Yep, Sumiki was. Yeah, I- Sumiki was there. He's. I totally forgot about that. That's so strange. Yeah, no, I, it's why I, I have a, a recording of still of when you and him were like fighting on call. Oh man, Wh- which Can we time? To that? Which time? Uh, which I time? think it was the one where you got mad about your phone number yeah, being well, given out. Oh, that was directly your I fault, remember though. that. Oh, I mean, that, that was, was my deal. fault, but it's like I didn't realize it'd be that big of a deal at the time. Yeah, <laughs> like. 
it's I mean, not, it's not like I knew you wore now. the tinfoil hat, but I didn't really realize how much of a tinfoil hat you wore. <laughs> you know? didn't realize no, 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 how no, thick that, the tinfoil was. I, I didn't really realize was. how thick the foil was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a phone number, that, that's a different situation, though, because a phone number, it, it's kind of a personal thing because it, it goes to a personal phone. Only to you. Well, <laughs> not at the time, because at the time it was a shared cell phone. I mean, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I didn't know that. Guys. I thought it was your phone. Yeah, no, I know. Because like right now, it's obviously not a big deal because I have my own like little right. dumb and phone. Right, obviously now I know you well enough to not give out your phone number. <laughs> yeah, that too. Hey, guys, we can I, pull Like it. I said, go, at that point, I knew handy. you wore a tinfoil hat. I just didn't realize how thick the hat was. It's LD's very phone thin number now. is 555-2327. Oh, you <laughs> gave away my phone number. What the heck? <laughs> now everyone's going to call LJ. Everyone's going to call that number. It's going to be like some crazy like crack addict or something. <laughs> it's not going to be anything. Hey, 555 is the number they drugs? use for... Uh, for fake numbers, like in movies, if you see any telephone number in a movie or a TV show, it's the first number is five 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 because they reserve that block. You can't use five 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 for anything. That's why it's for fun. Uh-huh. Yeah, clever, clever. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Anyhow, yeah, there you go. But yeah, it's like we've gone through so many hosts; it's ridiculous. I think we rattled off the names of all of our hosts on the one hundredth episode. Yeah, we did. right. We did. It's so many. We've had so many. It's funny because, like, they all kind of, uh, it, it, we've had, like, such a stable cast for so long now that all the past hosts that just weren't really there for that long, they kind of merge into one entity. <laughs> they kind of do, yeah. yeah. And I kind of just forget, like, their personality or what they did for us or, like, what they did wrong or anything. You know who I always forget? Hobie. Hobie? Hobie. Yeah, I forget Hobie. Hobie. I, I, mean, I, all the I don't time. even remember what I don't Hobie remember him sounded now. like. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't remember him now. Ho- Hobie was never a host. I know, but like he was a huge part of our group for a while. And he's he was. I mean, he was on our calls quite often. That guy was, was a jerk. Don't don't talk don't, don't, crap don't, about people yeah. on air. Come on. You don't now. know. He might be listening to this. Yeah, I don't think he is, but don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think he is after what I don't think Jordan and Nira. We reserved all that for episode 100. If you want to hear us talk crap about people, go to that episode. Oh, did we? Or we can do episode, like, where are we? What episode are we at right now? Uh, like, 67, 68? 768. Wait. What? What? 168, 167. 168. Okay, all right, cool. So maybe episode 200, we'll talk crap about people again. Or we just you can, won't do that. You can turn it, you can tune in for we that. Just, how about we just not? S- subscribe to Vessel, we'll be just a Vessel exclusive. How about TTV we act like adults and we just people. are nice to people and TTV occasionally talks, talk crap, crap behind their back? <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> what we need, what we need to do, though, we need to have an episode where we talk crap about our current host. See, we do. Every, we, okay. like, we right now, host, right now, let's, let's do it. Let's do it right now. The one host that's not here but is here, freaking Meso. Okay. Why the heck is Meso always on... Why is he always on the freaking chat, but never free for recordings? See, what does he do I, with I his life? Him, what does he I do? I told him last year, dude. <laughs> what does he do? Make it a New Year's resolution to to do whatever it is you need to do during the day, earlier in the day. That way you can hop on call earlier, and we don't have to stay up for your dumb... Mm. Okay, here, here's, it, here's it the thing. It amazes me how often right? he just avoids getting says, I can't call. make it a day. Here's what I'm thinking. Var is at school... Or Var is with his friends or with his family and can't make it, right? If Ven's not doing something, I assume Ven's with his friends or doing, you know, something in school. For me, the same thing. Uh, LJ, you have, you know, d- I'm, additional I assume duties. he's got family I- I'm things. Kind of yeah, he's got family things. You've got, you got, like, you know, you serve and other things. And yeah. LJ did Meso, work for a good bit, too. Yeah, if Meso, Meso can't make it, Meso why? does, like, nothing. I don't know why. I don't know what Meso does. Meso does not work. Meso does not, I mean... He, Currently, I don't think he goes to college. He, he doesn't I, go to college doesn't. right now, but he does do schoolwork. So. He does do schoolwork, but I did schoolwork for like yeah, I mean, he I does was online classes, too, man. right? He can choose when he does those hours. But why, why is he only on at like eleven o'clock? Right. Like my, my what does he do? I the same, same time. What does he do? Same, I have I had three jobs and school, and I went to college full you know, time. You know what? You want to mess with before you know I, what I know exactly what Messer freaking does. Drugs. Because. Yeah. because well, maybe. maybe. Not quite sure. But I know exactly what it does because okay. freaking Halo 5 came out, right? Right, right, right. We all play for a day. I come back the next day. I look at all of our, our levels. I'm level, like, 12. Meso mm-hmm. is level 39. <laughs> That's what Meso freaking does instead of being on recordings and helps you know, you know does what? anything. I just realized... Do you know why he's always freaking offline in the Xbox? Probably because he's playing all freaking day. He just wants to see it. That's probably it. I literally hopped on Spartan, like Halo 5 the other night. 
not the other night, yesterday. It was it was like afternoon. I just got off school. I was playing Halo Five. I see Meso log on. He goes online. I sent him an invite. Offline. <laughs> he goes offline. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking jerk. I love that. Uh, Ellie sent me a message being you know, like, "Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm playing some notes." Offline too, so it's like, huh? And anything's possible. I, I, he could be doing drugs. I don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> he could be like the Walter White, ex- except like really white, like <laughs> Walter Ultra. <Ultra-Rite>. Walter B- <laughs> Bleach. Walter <laughs> Bleach. Walter <laughs> Bleach. Wow. <laughs> oh well. It's about Man. time to wrap up. Yeah, and then like, uh, he, his mic settings are always uh, always, <laughs> always on point. late. His mic settings are yeah. That so sucks. Moral of the story, everybody. Wow. All right. Well. I, I guess it's about time that we start to wrap up. Man, yeah, as much as I'd like to Viper wrap on myself. Or Takuma. Oh, oh, we can, well, talk, we can, we can talk, talk crap about Viper and Takuma some other time. Yeah. We'll, we'll advertise the episode like, oh, it's time to talk man, about Fallout 4. What's with the way that Takuma <laughs> talks, man? He <laughs> always yeah, sounds like we just talk crap. <laughs> he has some kind of cotton stuck in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, guys. Next week, TTV talks crap. That'll be <laughs> that'll be the episode. Right, right. We'll disguise it as something else. It'll be TTV talks about, I don't know, Fallout or video games or whatever. But we're going to be talking crap about people. Yeah. All right. It'll be, it'll be us. Same cast. <laughs> same cast, same bat time, same bat channel. All right. I'm Kahi. I'm Var. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. And I'm doing none of the sponsors because I forgot to do them. This has been TTV Talks, guys. Thanks for... I mean, do them now. Listening. Oh, uh, thanks for subscribing to Vessel at Vessel.com. Thanks for subscribing to Vessel. (laughs) We don't need to tell you to do it because you've already done it. (laughs) Thanks Thanks for (laughs) subscribing. Check us out on Vessel. Uh, It's $3 a month to subscribe, and you can do it with PayPal now. You don't need a credit card. So if you do that, that helps us out a ton. Or you can just keep doing what you're doing. To subscribe to the Early Access if you want to watch our videos early in advance a week um, before they're released. Exactly. Otherwise, you can sub- you can you know follow us on Vessel and watch all of our videos when they're released for free, without entering any credit card information or anything. And being on Vessel, just being on Vessel helps us out. Can but- we say like right now, what's on Vessel for exclusive right now? If you're gonna go on Vessel, like as soon as you hear this episode, what can you find? What can um, you find? That's a good question. I don't uh, actually know. I know. I we- think I know. LJ Book has Club- a video on why red axles and blue pins are cons. Yeah. Yes. Book Club Five just came out. We'll Book see Club thing- Five and Book Club's uh, video too. If you go and watch it on Vessel, it's a video uh, thing. See, we the, have the thing. See the issue with this Kahi is that this is also going to be early access. So, By the time the YouTube <laughs> listeners watch this, all those videos will be... <laughs> I know, but I, I, this is just like a snapshot of like... I mean, obviously, by the time they get this video anyways, it would be... Most people aren't going to watch this in the first week or so. You know, it's going to be... After a while, the episodes are just going to be, you know, lost in time. But as a snapshot, this is the stuff that you can get right now that isn't yet on YouTube. Man, well, I hear this. Your vlogs the Vessel you, exclusive. Uh, the things that you absolutely won't be able to get on YouTube that are only exclusive to Vessel are the video version of Biotalk Book Cub and the TTV After Book Show. Cub. Yeah, which admittedly ha- I need to get back up. So. Yes, really, really yeah. soon. But yeah, you can do that. You can also um, go to audibletrial.com slash TTV to get a trial from Audible. Uh, you can listen to any audi- uh, audiobook of your choice. Uh, we have several that we recommend from time to time. Uh, Brick by Brick is one of them. It's the big one because it talks about Bionicle quite a lot. Uh, and then you can also go to our message boards at board.ttvpodcast.com and also check out our new site at ttvpodcast.com. All right, I that's think all. that covers about everything. You can buy a shirt if you want. But buy a shirt. That's about it. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hope to see you guys next week. See you week. guys. Goodbye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.